everyone. This is Paul and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely repair your Windows 7, 10 and 11 PC. We'll try to get rid of all sorts of unknown errors, random screen freezes and even worse, blue screens of death. We're only going to focus on things that actually works. None of the clean your registry to get rid of all PC errors or update your drivers and everything will be 200% faster. These are all a bunch of marketing jargons and they do more harm than good. So there are only four ways to completely repair your Windows PC. Number one, scan and repair your Windows installation. This includes scanning your Windows directory to find and replace corrupted files. Then scanning your system drive partition for any bad sectors. This sounds hard, but I'll show you a way that's super simple. So make sure to keep watching. Number two, performing a Windows update. This should already be done automatically and you don't usually have to do anything, but it doesn't hurt to do a manual check. Basically, updated Windows files are more stable and less prone to errors and bugs. Number three, if the above two fixes didn't work, then we'll perform a Windows refresh or a Windows reset. I'll get more into this later. For number four, if you perform the Windows refresh and you're still running into errors, unfortunately, that probably means it's a hardware issue. It could be RAM, hard disk, or a number of other things. Since diagnosing and replacing hardware parts are a complex and lengthy topic, we won't cover them in this video. But if this is something you're interested in, leave a comment below. But don't worry guys, my job is to make sure that you never reach this point in the first place. With all that said, let's start. Number one, scanning and repairing your windows. This process is nearly impossible to do manually and it's pretty hard to do via command line. So we're going to download and install a completely free program that will do it all for us. With this program, all you have to do is click on a button and it will do the scanning and repairing for you automatically. So first open up a browser and then head over to pegasun.com. That's P-E-G-A-S-U-N.com. Then you want to hit the button that says download free. FYI, there's also a portable version available for people who do not want to install it. So once the download is complete, head over to your downloads folder. You should see system utilities in there. What you'll want to do is double click on it. When the installation windows pop up, just keep clicking next until you get to the final screen and then hit install. From here, just hit finish. And then the program should show up. From here, just exit out of this window since I'll be showing you what to do. So from the main screen, just click on toolbox and then hit scan and repair this PC. And then this window should pop up. This program will basically scan your entire Windows system and repair corrupted files. This should help in making your Windows PC more stable and less prone to errors. It is completely safe because it's using the Windows built-in scripts. Now, before you hit the scan and repair button, I just wanna take a few seconds to talk about this program. Pegasus System Utilities is basically designed to make your Windows 7, 10, and 11 PC run blazing fast. It has over 26 tools built into one program. It even includes a Windows 10 slash 11 optimizer, which de-bloats your windows to make it more slim, remove ads, and get rid of data collection. There is also Turbo Mode, which makes your PC games, graphics editing, and video streaming like Netflix much faster. If your PC hasn't been running as fast as it used to, then this program is perfect for you. And if this is something you're interested in, I have a step-by-step -step video showing you how to maximize the performance of your PC. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, back to repairing your PC. So let's go ahead and click scan and repair this PC. This might take anywhere from 15 minutes to a few hours. So start the scan, pause this video, and let the repairing finish.
Once completed, next we'll scan our system drive. From the drop down, select the option that has system on it. This is basically the drive where your Windows operating system is installed. What we want to do is scan this drive and fix errors on disk and repair bad sectors. So go ahead and click scan and repair this drive. Once you start the scan, you'll immediately be prompted that you'll need to schedule this scan the next time your PC restarts. So what you want to do is hit yes. Then save your work and restart your PC when it's convenient for you. If you're watching this video on the computer you're about to restart, then be sure to save the link to this video so that you can come back to it after. Okay. If you're back here, I'm going to assume that you've restarted your PC and your system drive was scanned. If not, do so now. What I want you to do right now is to get a feel for your PC. Try to determine if the errors you've previously experienced are still there. If you feel like your errors are fixed, then that's it. Nothing more for you to do. However, if you're still experiencing error, then let's head over to step number two. Step number two is basically performing a Windows update. This should be a really simple and easy process. In fact, you should already be updated automatically. But if not, we'll perform a quick check right now. So head over to your start menu and then start typing update. And then click on check for updates. It should show a green check mark or say something like everything is up to date. If not, hit check for updates. The reason we want to update is because Microsoft and other vendors releases bug fixes and more stable drivers. Having an up to date windows and drivers could solve or reduce the errors that you're experiencing. Once the update completes, restart your PC again, then check if that solved your issues. If it did not, then let's head over to step number three. Step number three is kind of inconvenient. We're basically going to reinstall your Windows the easy way. That means you'll have to back up your personal files to an external drive like a USB flash drive or a portable hard drive. And then you'll be reinstalling Windows on the PC. The good news is, this should solve all your PC errors most of the time. You have a fresh new install of Windows with factory settings. So head over to your start menu again and start typing reset. Then click on reset this PC. From here, click on get started. You'll be presented with two options. Keep my files and remove everything. I would highly recommend manually backing up all your personal files and then choosing remove everything. This will avoid the confusion of which personal files Windows is going to keep or delete. Plus, you get the true reset if you select remove everything. You can also click on help me choose. Then read the symptoms and the suggested solution. For example, if your PC won't start or is still loading, you could take a look at use the startup repair function article. Anyway, as for me, I'm going to go ahead and click remove everything. Then I'll select cloud download so that I'll get the latest version of Windows from the internet. Then just hit next and follow the prompt. Then complete the entire Windows reinstall. It should take about an hour. If the reinstallation step has completed and you're still running into issues, unfortunately, that usually means there is a hardware problem with your PC. The only solution then is to take it to a PC repair shop so they can diagnose which parts needs to be replaced. If you guys are interested in a video where I show you how to diagnose your PC hardware components, then please leave a comment below. That's all for me guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe and share it with people you think will find it helpful. 
I really appreciate you guys watching it until the end. Have a great day.